Hi everyone, here is T12D translator. It comes with an R12F receiver. They are bound at the factory, so there is no need to rebind them when you receive it. But if you buy a new R12F receiver, you need to bind it to your transmitter. And I'm going to show you how to bind R12F to T12D. And there are two steps for bending. 1. Select receiver protocol. 2. Bind. And first, enter main menu. Receiver settings. RF settings. And we need to select module selection to internal. For protocol, R12F supports FHSS V1, V2, and V2.1. V1 and V2 protocol support 8 channels, but V2.1 protocol supports 16 channels. So when using R12F, if V1 or V2 protocol is selected, only 8 channels are available on the receiver. So it is recommended to select V2.1 protocol. For details of the receiver protocols and compatible receivers, please refer to the table on the screen. No bundle. Power on the receiver. The flashing LED of the receiver indicates there is no bending between the transmitter and receiver. And also there is no signal tower on the screen of T12D. And I need to keep a distance of about 30 centimeters between the transmitter and receiver. And there is a tiny black bending button on the side of the receiver. Press and hold it until the LED flashes first. The solid light of the receiver indicates the bending is complete and the signal tower on the screen and the transmitter shows the bending is successful. If bending fails, the LED of the receiver will keep flashing slowly. So please repeat the bending steps. And I can also collect a servo to prove it. Collect the servo to channel 1 and move the joystick up channel 1. Servo works. So the bending is successful. And once the bending success, it will be stored. And then let's talk about the working mode of R12F. R12F supports three signal outputs, PWM, SPARS, and CRSF. It has four working modes in total. The working modes which we have two methods. Short press the bending button once to turn on or off the SPARS. And blue LED indicates the SPARS is turned on. There is blue LED which means SPARS is turned on. I can press the bending button once. There is no blue LED which means the SPARS is turned off. And two, short press the bending button twice within two seconds to turn on or off the CRSF. And green LED indicates the CRSF is turned on. Short press the bending button twice. The green LED indicates the CRSF is turned on. You can also press the bending button twice to turn it off. And now let's check the four working modes of R12F one by one. The color of the LED here can show you the current working mode. The first working mode, red LED always on, indicates PWM signal output. Then short press the bending button once to turn on spots. The mode 2, red and blue LED always on, indicates PWM and spots signal output. And short press the bending button twice to turn on the CRSF. Mode 3, red, green, and blue LED ops on indicates PWM and CRSF and sparse signal output. And short press the bending button once to turn off the sparse signal. Mode 4, Red and green LED ops on indicates PWM and CRS signal output. So that's all about the bending and working modes of R12F.